Hey guys, welcome again to another travel video here on our channel. Today we'll bring you the video of Pompeii, of how we were able to spend our time in Pompeii. This is part of our Italian series that we're doing on our channel and we want to bring those to you as well. So the first part of our video is us spending time in Amalfi Coast from Cave di Tirreni, Salerno, Amalfi and Positano. In addition, we did drive a little bit into Sorrento. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check that video out and I will link it over here somewhere here. Welcome for those who are new to our channel and thank you for those who have been with us since the beginning. Here on the Ponzo Adventure, we provide you with travel tips in the format of flight and hotel reviews and also engaging vlogs like this to help you with your travel and also maximizing your trip. So if this type of content interested you, consider subscribing. Also, if you enjoy watching this video, go ahead and smack the like button as it helps us with the algorithm. As I stated in the beginning, this video is part of our Italian series that started from the southern part of Italy all the way to the northern part of Italy. So this is going to be probably about five to six videos. So I hope you will be able to enjoy all the videos that we're bringing to you. Again, this is the second part of our travel where we are in Pompeii and how we spend our time there. All right, so we're now in Pompeii. I'm gonna see if we'll be able to uh, visit Pompeii to be able to just uh, go quickly and visit and then see the ruins, maybe for about an hour. And then we'll make our way north to Rome. Pompeii, once a bustling Roman city, it was frozen in time by the devastating eruption of 79 AD. Today, we explore this ancient metropolis. I've always been fascinated about this place, but I have never made my way here until now. As we explore this place, here are a couple things for you to be aware about. Entry to Pompeii is not free. You can book your ticket online, through a tour group, or in person. Keep in mind that they may sell out. Pompeii was a thriving hub of commerce and culture, boasting grand villas, vibrant marketplace, and magnificent temples. Its streets were lined with shops and taverns, where merchants and locals alike engage in daily life. So right now we are here in Pompeii and visiting all the ruins. Uh, this place is massive. It's just amazing. Uh, you never know uh, how big this space is until you get here uh, and this is why they recommend at least spending three maybe four hours to just get to see everything or maybe the whole day it could be a whole day trip uh, we only have about two hours to visit so we're gonna try to hit all the cool spots and then just continue to visit this but this is really amazing to see in person and then if you look from the back there you can see Mount Vesuvius right there and this is an active volcano mountain still uh, but if we did have some time, we could have gone there, but I don't think we'll be able to make it there. But right behind us, you can see the active volcano, Mount Vesuvius. And the other recommendation for sure, if you're coming here in the summertime, you either do this super early in the morning or late in the evening. Uh, but just uh, be mindful because the actual last person to get in or the last entrance is a 5.30, but we also saw it say 3.30, so I'm not sure which one is the exact one. But uh, when we spoke to the person from the parking, they did say 5.30, but you're allowed to stay here until seven. So if you come here uh, when it's late, it's actually the best time because it's not hot. Even right now it's 3 p.m. It's still scorching uh, heat, Just the sun is just blazing down right now so be mindful of that
The baths of Pompeii were not only a place for bathing, but also for socializing and relaxation. Visitors could enjoy a range of amenities, including hot baths, saunas, and exercise facilities. Nearby, the imposing amphitheater hosted gladiatorial contests and other spectacles, drawing crowds from near and far. The echoes of ancient cheer still linger in its weathered stone walls. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stadium for the show! Who's gonna get killed next? This gladiator versus this lion! At the heart of Pompeii stood the Forum, a bustling civic center where politics, religion, and commerce intersected. Here, citizens gathered for public gatherings, religious ceremonies, and commercial transactions. Tragically, Pompeii's story took a dark turn on that fateful day in 79 AD when Mount Vesuvius erupted, burying the city beneath a blanket of ash and cumis. The sudden disaster claimed thousands of lives, preserving their final moment for eternity. Archaeologists have painstakingly created plaster casts of these victims, capturing the haunting expression of fear and agony frozen in time. As we stand amidst the ruins of Pompeii, we are reminded of the fragile of life and the power of nature. Yet through the dust of centuries, the spirit of this remarkable city lives on inspiring awe and wonder in all who behold its mysteries. All right, so we just finished visiting. Pardon my shirt being open. It's just been hot, super hot, super, super hot. Uh, but we did it. it. Took us about two hours to get all the sightseeing completed. And as you can see, we're right here in the last exit part of it. I uh, definitely recommend coming here. Uh, the cost was a total of 38 euros for the two of us. So I said it's definitely uh, worth it checking it out. We've just arrived at the hotel. We're gonna go check it out and get into our room and see what the Sheraton has to offer. All right, so right now we are at the hotel grabbing dinner. So we really didn't update yet, but we'll show you guys the room very soon. So we're gonna grab dinner first. Thank you again for watching this video and if you did enjoy watching it smack the like button and if you're not a subscriber consider subscribing thanks again for watching we will see you on the next video which is our time that we spent in rome